Okay, today we're looking at Love Bots by independent company called Kit Robot, and they've created this great little app which helps you create robots complete with analog synthesized sounds. This is the splash screen and you can email the authors if you like, go to the website or just check the credits and see the instructions down the side here on how to use the app. Okay, when you press operate you come to the default screen and on the default screen you'll see a whole lot of assets down the side um, heads, eyes, mouths, antennas, bodies chest plates, arms, hips, legs, accessories and backgrounds you can start wherever you like but I usually like to start at the head across the bottom we have identify which allows you to name your bot save functions which allows you to Facebook, tweet, email or save your bot and the panic function which is a, a gallery and you can have a look at what kind of robots you can make this gives you a great example of what kind of power is behind the kit There's everything from heads to bodies, retro to modern. Okay, the big red button at the top is the clear button. It clears your page to give you your default page. Now on the default page there are some crosshairs which helps you line up your bot to the center of the page as the center is takes into consideration the menu down the right hand side which is always there but not there when you save your your bot so when you click on these you see the labels come out head eyes mouth antenna torso chest plate arms etc okay let's start with the head so there's when you press on one of these assets all the assets appear at the bottom scroll menu and you can choose a variety of heads or body parts in general you can rotate them scale them and uh, position them this button here clears them so you can get the head you're looking for in this case we're making clockwork orange bot so that's the bot we're making today and this is the head I want to use so I've positioned him right in the center in between these two crosshairs and that gives me a good guideline for where the bot will kind of sit he could even come down a little because his hat has to go on um, it's best to sort of come up with the body positioning at the beginning so you kind of make your body you don't want a pink body but a white body but yes of course you can have green the orange bot as they wear white in the movie he will be wearing white and his body size is good good enough I think I, I kind of like that size you can go smaller of course or bigger you always have to be on the layer to be able to fix that layer so legs it's just so we can line him up I think we choose some white legs here you can spread apart the legs, arms and eyes shrink them and position them where you need to be body could be a bit bigger arms, so you have a range of arms I think I'll use these arms for this example and he kind of looks a bit tough 
grillery there, that's cool. I kind of like that. You can spread the arms, bring them back in. And now of course we want his eyes. Choose from a number of eyes of course. But they're not the right ones, so let's go for the clockwork orange eyes. And there's a whole range of different coloured eyes and whatnot. We'll go for the straight black ones today. And of course we want a mouth. There's various different mouths we can have. good one you can also rotate them out to make it a little bit askew if you want that you could be here for hours trying to work out the best combination you want down here are accessories and we can go and find his hat, the clockwork orange hat. Of course there's many different colours, but I'll go for classic black today. And now you can, you can tilt it, position it just right. And he seems to be centered pretty well. Finally, you can go for a chest plate. There's lots of different choices. Colors. And there we have our clockwork orange bot. Now, you might want to name him. you might want to give him a cool background There's realistic backgrounds or just coloured backgrounds. I'll go for something like that today. And there we have it. Our clockwork orange bot. So at the moment you can still see the image within the menu bar and surroundings so once you save it it will go to your photo library or you can email him to a friend and there's your image ready to go to whoever you like or you can tweet it as your tweet picture profile picture or you can have it as your Facebook picture so just directly from the app you can upload it. Okay.